Hi, in this lesson we will talk about approach and resource position in process modeling. To create such process modeling layouts, please go to academy.visualcomponents.com and then, for example, to the course Introduction to Process Modeling. There you can see a bunch of basics how to create such layouts. So let's get to the business. I would go to Process tab now and then have a look on Processes. So we have two feeders and then three manual processes, which are the destinations for our product. Let's click on flow and our product is a can and we want to move it from feeder using a mobile robot to a manual process. Let's press play and a little bit increase the simulation speed. Part is picked, taken to the destination. Okay, but this was the first link, so the part was taken from here to there, right? I want to check where are the resource locations for picking in this link. So we can modify that using the use custom parameters. The picking time was 5 seconds. And then accordingly, you can also modify the placing properties. But I would just focus on picking. And then same thing applies to the placing. So let's go to the top view, zoom a bit. And we go to a via point, which is an approach point. And then from there, we approach the process. The approach point is set over here, minus 1000. And then there is an offset for picking as well, that it will offset the resource location. There is an X, Y, and Z value. For example, in case I put this 500 and press play, mobile robot goes to that minus 1000 and then it goes 500 further. So you could see now this time the part was already almost above the mobile robot when it started to move. So that's basically the resource pick offset. What if we don't want to modify only for this link, but we want to modify the picking for all the layout? For that purpose, we can click on the mobile robot transport controller and then go to the link defaults. On link defaults, we can define these properties for all the links which are not using custom properties. So this guy, for example, is using already custom properties. If I deactivate it, it will be using the link defaults under the mobile robot transport controller. This concludes the video. This was Reza. Hope you enjoyed it. And in case you have further questions, feel free to open up a discussion on our forum on forum.visualcomponents.com. And have a great day. Bye for now.